so hello guys so in this video session i am going to discuss about the variable group operations in last video we have created one variable group and now we want to discuss what are the operations and uh, we can perform for a particular variable group so first operation is that we can edit a variable group then we can delete a variable group so we will learn how to delete a variable group then what is the cloning and how to clone a variable group then what is the security side this is already we have discussed regarding the permissions and how to manage the permissions and how to add the variables and then how to delete the variables so these are the operations we will discuss and finally we will rename the variable group okay. so these how we can perform these operations for a particular variable group and for that you need to create a one variable group that we have already created so on my so now we are under the library sections and under the library sections we just now created this variable group okay now first we can edit so how we can edit the variable group you can click on this edit button and then you can provide the any text so the descriptions you can add in also you can edit the name of this variable group yeah and you can also edit the variable names yeah and the variable names also you can delete now you can save now let's see the edit information so now we can see the variable group is edited name one yeah and it will see the date modified just now and the description which we have added is given here now second is how to delete a variable group so before deleting we want to see how to clone a variable group so here you can see under the variable group you can click on the clone button now so for cloning if you have the secret variables in that conditions you cannot clone a variable group so for that i am going to change this variable to the normal variable yeah. or we can delete the secret variables now this is having the one variable and uh, let's save this variable group now again try to clone the variable group so now we have cloned the variable group now you can save this variable group now you can see the variable group under this one so you can have the variable group copy one and copy two so cloning means you can copy the variable group only the condition when you have the secret variables password or encrypted data in that condition so you cannot clone a variable group security and manage permissions now it's for this particular variable group you want to provide the security so security you can click here and under the security you can assign the security roles okay whatever roles you provide to this particular user okay and you can inherit it so administrator permissions readers and users whatever the user is permission is there you can manage through the security and you can add the and you can provide the uh, permissions as a role okay reader user and then the administrator so you can select the user and here you need to provide the email id and so you can provide the user's email id yeah, and then you can add so this should available into the devops environment then only it will populate so once it populate you can click on the add button to add this particular email id so like that you can add the security and the permission role and you can also inherit it so if you make the off the assignment will be the off so you can cannot inherit it as the reader permissions okay through this already available roles okay. so like that you can control the inheritance for this particular security role so this is my user and i have the administrator permissions and i can change these permissions yeah. So this is we can manage the security from here. 
Now, how to manage the permissions? So, manage to permissions, we can go to the pipeline permission sections, and under that, we have the add button to provide the permissions to a particular pipeline. So you can select the pipeline name. Now this pipeline have the access for this variable group. Yeah. And if you want to remove the access, you can open the access and you can remove the access. Now restrict the permissions. So like that you can provide the granting the permissions. And again, you have the permissions for these two pipelines. So like that you can manage the permissions which pipeline can use this variable group so that you can manage through here. Now you want to delete this variable. So how you can delete, you can come to the more options and you can select the variable. Now you can delete and now you can confirm this confirmation message delete. Now you can see that the variable group is deleted. Yeah. 